Jason Steves here. Today it is 42 degrees Celsius in Tokyo. And I thought I would update you again as I've been doing with what's been going on. So yesterday I went to train with Nagato Sensei again. And we worked with a bow staff, we worked unarmed, and we talked a lot about different things, including family, for one. He said that um, the Bujikan is like a family. We stick together. Um, he also said that the kind of people that are drawn to the Bujinkan don't make the choice. He kind of likened it to um, the mystery of being born. It's like, how, do, how are we born? How are we, how are we us? Like, why are we in our bodies when we're born? That kind of thing. So he likened it to that. So that nobody really decides or seeks out training, even though it may feel that way. But he says that fate draws us to training. And if we're there, it's because we were meant to be there. We're supposed to be there. And he said that we are the guardians of the galaxy. And a couple people laughed, but he was quite serious. He said, no, really. And he repeated it. He says, we're the guardians of the galaxy. And he went on to talk about Hatsumi Sensei and himself. Nagato Sensei is 70 years old. And he said, uh, Hatsumi Sensei is uh, 86 years old. And he said that he's afraid of where his life may have been if it wasn't for Hatsumi Sensei. He said that um, his father had died a while back. Nagato, I mean. And Hatsumi Sensei said, I can, I'll be your father. And uh, early in his life, Nagato was... Uh, not really part of the Yakuza, but he was leaning that way, and he's, he recalled the time when he had to um, go into a big boss at a corporation for a CEO and threaten them, and he said he didn't like that, and he does not like the Yakuza, uh, even though to this day he has a couple friends that are part of the Yakuza, but that's, that's about as far as that goes. Um, he went on to talk about things like, um, oh, his life, Hatsumi's life. He says that Hatsumi Sensei has experienced three times as much hardship as most people. And the Bujinkan wouldn't be here today the way it is today if it wasn't for what he experienced and his perseverance. He had almost died when he was younger. He was, on, he was in the hospital for five years for a sickness. Uh, of course, we know that his situation when he was a kid, he was abused by his father when he was a kid. Stuff like that. So, he's really had to push. And he says that because of that, the Bujinkan is here today. So he is our... He says... Uh, <laughs> Nagato said that we are his kids. And he is like our papa. And uh, Hatsumi Sensei is our grandpapa. Which I kind of like. But then he also went on. And other than techniques which you can't really get into that too much on this video like that. Techniques and stuff will go over with my, I'll go over with my guys at home and then probably videotape those. But um, other than technique, he, he said that, um, um, I should, he said a lot of things, but basically he said that, um, sorry about that. Um, a couple of people just talked to me for a second there. Um, he basically said that on paper, Nagato is finished training. Uh, he's, he's gone through all the techniques once. He's gone from beginning of the end of the dead show once. But um, he said that that's, that's only as far as paper goes, because in reality, you're never done training. You can't perfect the technique. It's possible to perfect techniques that can only get better and better and better. So, as far as learning the techniques, learning everything that's in the Densho, he's finished, but you're never finished. He says, to that end, um, we should never leave the Bujinkan or leave Hatsumi Sensei to go out on our own. He says, people who break away from the Bujinkan and start their own thing, when, when they start their own thing, he says that they're really killing themselves because they're unplugging from the source. And he says you can't unplug from the source, it's impossible. Um, in my mind, I, I, when he was telling this, I thought, that sounds a lot like 
where all the branches on the main tree. And if we decide to branch off, quote unquote, then we're really taking a hatchet, cutting our cutting our own branch off at the at the stem. And of course we die, right? We cannot survive apart from the tree. So I think I understand what he's trying to say. There's an element there that it's dangerous. I'm not going to get into that too much. It's dangerous ideology, but uh, I know what he's trying to say. He's not trying to come off as being, you know, what I'm, what the alternate that comes to mind. But otherwise, um, two people took their Godin test and both of them failed. And um, it was really hot. I had never sweat so much in a class training. And another, my training partner, the same thing. It was so hot in the dojo. We had air conditioning going and all that stuff, and it was still blistering hot. And I'm going right back there now as we speak to Hanbu Dojo. So I will make another video later today about that class or tomorrow, and I will upload it and see you then. Arigatou gozaimashita.